Hello, lovies. Are you ready for a new lesson? Today, I'm going to have us practice words that begin with shiny shell shh. Now, when we first did SH, we didn't have long vowels yet. So there were a lot of words we couldn't practice. So I just went back and thought of all the words I could think of that begin with shh and put them in for us to practice. And then I asked you guys, and Eli came up with the last word. I believe it's the last word of our lesson. So are you ready? We're going to start. Every word will start the same. Shh. So give me that sound. Sure, ship. A ship is a big kind of boat. That's a Navy ship. And do you notice you can see the, how small the people are? And look at that ship has airplanes that can take off and land from it. So we don't need an airport out in the middle of the ocean. Those are very valuable Navy ships. Give me the sound. Shh. Shop. Mm-hmm. And shop can be two things. It can be the place, the store where you go is a shop, or it can be what you do. You can put all the kids in the cart so you have no place to put the food that you want to buy. Or you can have your mom use the other cart for food, and I'll use the cart for boys. That was a fun day we went to the shopping together. Shack, mm-hmm. Shack is just a run-down old building, usually been out in the weather a long time and nobody's fixed it up or used it for a long time, so it's become a shack. Sh ed, mm-hmm. And a shed is something that's a little bit nicer, a little building. People use it um, if they don't have some place to put their lawnmower or tools, they'll sometimes uh, have a shed in their backyard. Sh in, shin. Do you remember what part of your body is your shin? Put your hands on your shin before I show you the picture. Sure, it's that part between your knee and your ankle, your shin bone is there. I was glad you guys could do that for me, so I got to put a new picture for shin. Sh e she. She is happy. Sh aid. Uh huh. Silent e. It's gonna signal over shade. Mm -hmm. You guys. Sat in the shade. We just finished feeding the ducks, I think. Shh. Mm -hmm. What's the opposite of shut? Instead of shut the door, open the door. Sure. How about shh? Ert. Mm hmm. Now, I've been waiting a long time to use this picture, and you both are wearing gator shirts, but that's not what's the fun part of this picture. It's a bad case of stripes day. You had a bad case of stripes that day, but you were both wearing gator shirts. Shh. Uh. Shush. 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 Aw, clawing hawk. Sh all. Do you remember what a shawl is? It's a girl word. Mm -hmm. Yep, it doesn't have any armholes. Just puts it around to keep her shoulders warm. A shawl. Shh. Are you giving me that first sound each time? Shh. Ooh. Shoot. Mm-hmm. 
And I have a picture of a little boy, and he's going to shoot the basketball. And then, over Thanksgiving, Aunt Kathy gave you those bow and arrows so that you could shoot the bow and arrow. And then, when you already did it, we don't say shooted. We say shot. Last Thanksgiving, you shot the bow and arrow. And actually, there's another picture for shot. Okay, it can be that you shot the squirt gun, shot, or you were sick and the doctor gave you a shot. How about shh? Are you still doing it? Shh. Ock. Shock. Mm -hmm. A shock can be an electrical shock. Sometimes the, if you, uh, the wires don't go right in your house or you uh, touch the electric plug, you could get a shock. Or on the trampoline, especially on cold days, you like to jump around and then touch me and give me a shock. And if you look at Titus's hair, he was especially funny those days when you could give shocks because his hair would fly out straight. That's called static electricity and it gives you a little shock. That's what the boy's doing. He's making static electricity for a shock. Let me hear. Mm -hmm. Shave. He's gonna shave his face. Shave. Shh. O, long O. I made it yellow for you so you didn't have to do brown cow. O, show. Mm -hmm. Noah's going to show me that he lost a tooth, or we can watch a show together. Shh. Ache. Shake. Mm -hmm. Two things. I have a picture. You can shake the salt from the salt shaker, or, oh, those milkshakes taste very good, don't they? What kind do you like the best? Sh arp, gargling armadillo, R, R, sharp. What will I show for sharp? What's something that is sharp? Mm -hmm. I picked a knife, a knife is sharp. There I did it brown for brown cow. Sh ow er shower. Mm -hmm. Could be a rain shower. Or Noah, there you are. You wanted to take a shower. So we put that little duck tub in there first for you to take a shower. Sh ink. Shrink. What does it mean to shrink? To make smaller. There are some clothes that are not meant to go in the washing machine. And if you put them in the washing machine, the water makes them shrink. And that guy's got a problem now. His shirt, he don't think he'll be wearing that shirt anymore. He'll need to give it to a very small child. Shrink. Out. Shout. Mm -hmm. It's good to shout if you're outside. Sh shell. Mm -hmm. Love to go to the beach and find those shells. Sh ah. D O Shadow. Mm -hmm. Had you guys make shadows for me in the backyard. We should have waited till the sun was in a different spot. Your shadows would have been longer. Sh Ein. Mm -hmm. He's going to shine his shoes. Sh 
ing shingles. Do you know what shingles are? Part of your house. What part? Sure, they go on the roof. Shingles are what go on the roof. Shh. All right, did you see that? Shh, air. Mm -hmm. First you have to do long A and then you do gargling armadillo. Shh, air. Mm -hmm. And she's going to share her cookie. But a lot of times when I bring over things to play, these were those little water beads. You had to share the cups with each other or the bowls we were putting them in. And it looks like Uncle Rich got in on that fun. You needed to share with him as well. Shh. Yeah. For some reason, kids always know that word, shark. Shh. Owl. Shallow. Do you remember what shallow is? Shallow water. There's Jackson and Reagan, and there you guys are. Your dad took your canoeing, I think, that day. And Jackson and Reagan are in a little brook, a shallow brook. They don't have to worry about getting their clothes wet. It's very shallow. Shapes. Before I show you, I want you to name three shapes. Three shapes that you like. All right, what did I use? A triangle, a circle, and a rectangle. Shh. Mm hmm See those two vowels go walking. Sheet, the sheets that are on your bed. Shh. Or. Did you see O? And then or. Shore. And here are Jackson and Reagan, and they're at the shore. The shore is where the beach meets the, the land. They are sitting on the shore. That was a good sunny day. Shh. Eep. Sheep. Now, sheep is a funny word because it could mean one sheep, or it could mean a lot of sheep. So I've got a picture of a lot of sheep, and I have a picture. This one is of Eli riding a sheep. When you went to the rodeo in Kansas, they let the kids that were, I think they were five to seven, you were allowed to take turns and try to ride the sheep. And you did a pretty good job there. You were holding on tight. Sheep. All right. Shh. Now, this is a long word, but I'm going to give you the first part. Sh ep. Now we're going to use shorty. Ep. Sh ep. Heard. Shepherd. Mm hmm. The reason I gave this to you in two parts, the syllables, was because look at that ph. That's not making an f sound. Then it would be shepherd. It's shepherd. Mm -hmm. So, and a shepherd is someone who takes care of the sheep. Isn't that funny how we did that PH in the middle? Shh. Am. Poo. Shampoo. Shh. This is going to be a longer word. At, shat, erd, shattered. Mm -hmm. This is Eli's word, shattered. When something glass breaks into a lot of little pieces, we say it shattered. That bottle shattered when it hit the cement floor. Good reading, you guys. I think that was on your uh, Kansas trip also, standing on that turtle. And you know what I just noticed? There's a little baby turtle in front. 
You guys never told me about that baby turtle. All right. See you later, alligator. To the sky, firefly.